Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be covering Blue Beetle Jaime Reyes. Now, he made his first appearance in Infinite Crisis, issue number three, that was released in February of 2006. There have been three individuals to carry the title Blue Beetle, including Daniel Garrett, Ted Cord, and now Jaime, who happens to be an adventurous Mexican-American teenager who stands five feet eight inches tall, weighs 145 pounds, and has brown eyes with black hair. Now, Jaime has gained significant superhuman abilities after the Blue Beetle Scarab bonded with his body. This sentient and technologically advanced alien artifact was created by a villainous race known as the Reach, and it was additionally augmented by ancient Egyptian magic. This allows Jaime, as Blue Beetle, to conjure a powerful bio armor. This somewhat shape-shifting armor not only gives him vast superhuman durability, but also gives him high-level moderate superhuman strength, speed, flight, pyrokinesis, energy manipulation, and energy projection. This armor also has a wide array of scanners which greatly increase his situational awareness, not to mention having a unique universal translator. Matter of fact, to be honest, this Blue Beetle armor pretty much gives Jaime the ability to generate anything he can imagine, of course within reason, basically making this teenager a living weapon system. The only things that could be considered as slight weaknesses is that the Blue Beetle armor has a mind of its own and sometimes can contradict what Jaime wants, although he has learned how to override the Scarab's will if necessary. So you could see the potential for problems once you learn that Jaime has not found a way to remove the Blue Beetle Scarab from his spine. Now to condense the history of the Scarab artifact itself, it was originally created by the Reach species like I said earlier. But it was designed to turn one of Earth's inhabitants into a conqueror who would prepare the planet for their takeover. However, over the countless centuries that the Scarab had spent on Earth, it had been infused with magic in the Egyptian region. These magical energies had corrupted the influence the Reach had over this piece of technology, which led to it overriding its deepest programming and developing its own personality. Now, if you fast forward to the modern day in El Paso, Texas, we come across Jaime Reyes and his friends Paco and Brenda. These buddies were hanging out the day before their senior year of high school when Paco noticed a blue glint out the corner of his eye. And upon further inspection, he would discover a small beetle-like object that stung his hand and began glowing. This would precede a brilliant light show and the process that changed Jamie into a superhero. This strange technological artifact bonding with his spine and coating him in a bizarre blue armor. Eventually, Jaime would turn to the industrialist named Ted Core for advice, and this inventive billionaire would jump at the opportunity to study the scarab more. You see, we would learn that Ted had actually come across this scarab before, with his former neighbor, archaeologist Dan Garrett, having brought the ancient artifact home with him from a dig. And while Dan, who was the original Blue Beetle, had actually used the scarab to perform heroics, when it was gifted to Ted, he could never get it to quite work well. And over several adventures and years, it would come to pass that the scarab would be lost. But this shiny little artifact had inspired Ted to become the superhero named Blue Beetle. Of course, without superpowers though. And although Ted had retired from his adventures due to a heart condition, he would jump at the idea of helping out Jaime as a partner. With the Scarab now a part of him, Jaime would initially reluctantly choose to embark with Ted as his right-hand man. Often using the flying bug vehicle as a mobile command center, the two Blue Beetles would have many different adventures over the years, with Jaime going on to have major roles in storylines involving the Justice League, Teen Titans, Posse, and many others. So despite his initially rocky relationship with this artifact, Jaime seems to have learned how to get along well with it and make the most out of being a superhero. Now, for his powers and abilities and his influence on the DC Universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give Blue Beetle a rating of 8, which is an unforgettable rating. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like, subscribe, and join the new Sage.